Yeah. Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Look at that. How about that? We're back. Jim and Todd here, the Take a Listing Today podcast, show number 137. We're on quite a roll here. Todd, who's that over in the corner in the VIP chair with air conditioning and heating? This would happen to be the young lady that brought us to show number 137, the wonderful Lisa Gray. Ah, yes. Hello. I think that... I think that chair has a massage function as well. Yeah, I it think. It does. Yeah. yeah, she's got all all of her accessories over there. I see that. And uh, I got that from Santa for Christmas. The massage function. <laughs> wow. Chair. Yeah. Well, well, don't fall asleep over there. Hopefully, you're not too comfortable. You hear snoring. <laughs> right. Welcome to our show, the Take a Listing Today podcast, the one designed to give you the information you need to take a listing today, and to help you take a listing today. Today's topic is to tell you how to take a critical step to prepare for this quarter's market. Strong. So I guess this quarter's market's gonna be a little bit different than what we've seen in 2022, 2021. Correct. Is that what we're saying? Yes. All right. It shouldn't be for the realtor, but the market itself will be different out there, correct? All right. Well, let's see what we do here. Now, you see those brake lights up ahead? Some are from home prices, while others are from buyers and sellers. That doesn't make any sense. Well, if somebody's driving, that's why they're seeing brake lights up ahead. <laughs> Metaphor. If you're seeing brake lights ahead, stop the car. Uh, okay, we're going to have to keep them off of the juice in it's, the back. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. <laughs> that's a metaphor? <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. All right. Some are from home prices, while others are from buyers and sellers, confused as all get out about what's in store for the housing market. What we do know is that home prices are decreasing Homes are remaining on the market longer than we're used to, and mortgage rates are rising. A recent review shows the average rate for 30-year fixed mortgage is 7.24%. Now we're looking at 5.62% for a 5.1 arm, which many buyers are pursuing right now. And the current inflation rate is 7.75%. The long-term average is 3.27%. That's some great stats, Lisa. Yeah, well, I try, you know, I'm just... I. Burning the midnight oil, you know, up at two in the morning, right. digging up stats. Digging the stats. Well, that's my, a great numbers there. Little, um, Here's what I find interesting lamp. about your stats that you did under the oil lamp <laughs> is that <laughs> is that great agents, this doesn't matter to them. These are variables outside of their right. control. The oh, that's so great. The great agents will keep office hours. They will treat their business like a successful small business and show up and do what they do every single day. We, we talked about this before. When you and I were selling real estate, a great rate was seven and a half percent. Correct, it, it, and, if, no, if, and nobody. If you, your, right. your credit was bad, you could be up at nine percent. Right, and back and then, people still bought houses because people yeah, compared right. it to the Jimmy Carter interest rates, and seven percent was crazy. Fine. Yeah, yeah, crazy, even crazier. Right, All right. So, <clears throat> so what is in store for this year? As we all know, no economist has a crystal ball, and most are all over the place when it comes to predicting the twenty twenty three economy and specifically the housing market. Now, things slowed down a bit in the days prior to the start of 2023, and they haven't yet recovered in the first few weeks of January. Then use this time to prepare your business as if the busy season promises to be gangbusters. I don't really use words like that, Lisa. Don't you? You, you put, like that in my mouth. <laughs> you put you enthusiasm know, behind it and everything. You know, you you delivered it really well, but tell me what word I knew what your have you, intention. What word would have you used there? Great, I just like to. <laughs> so just one syllable. Yes. You're just great. Okay, so say it again, but add great and take out King Bus. Use see? this time to prepare your business as if the busy season promises to be great. Okay. See how I do that? Mm. We're going to go along with that. I want to say something about this, <laughs> though, because although we're having fun with that, that was very serious what you said. If the market's slowing down, it's actually it, it's actually a beautiful thing indirectly because we see this cyclical when it happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've even talked to some friends around the country on the drive-in this morning that are having talks about getting out of the business. Very, really? fa very really? fascinating. Mm. They're thinking of switching gears. So here, here's the indirect magic of this. If you're committed to being a real estate agent, a full-time right. agent, you will have less competition. If you keep going to work and keep compounding that, mm -hmm. two, three, four months from now, right. the other agents are still bumping into the walls. Okay, well, I'm going to wait till the Fed finishes their stuff or wait till it's out of your control. Go to work, do what you do. You will destroy the competition. 
Right, right. How much do you stand out when other people are freaking out? Right. You're marketing still, and they are not. Right, they're I like, mean, wow. talk about standing. You know, I, 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 when I um, raised my son, actually, my husband was involved in that. Too. When we <laughs> raised our son. You let him would, take part? Wow. Yeah, he did. He Kurt did. just got partial nice. credit. Yeah, he should have got half credit. but <laughs> He got to fold and put away his underwear. <laughs> no, I'm just okay. kidding. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of people heading up the mountain, and you'll meet them along the way, and there'll be less and less and less, and then at the oh, top, nice. there are very few. So that's kind of a something, a story that I say to him very often. Keep pushing till that's you nice. get to the top, because typically you're up there alone or with very few. So that's what some of these agents are doing. Yep. People are falling off that, tumbling off the mountain right now, right. afraid. That's when as, you get stronger. As though there's a career that is consistent and beautiful. And let me tell you, if there was one, you'd be bored. Right. <laughs> you'd be bored. Yeah. We did that once. We would climb to the top of the mountain and did a show up there. We were broadcasting up there. Oh, oh. we did. Remember we had our scarves and everything? Yeah. Why would she put us in that, that situation, a cold? Cause, because she wanted, like us, she wanted us to prove to ourselves that we could reach the top of the mountain. Oh. And we did. Yeah, but the part that, that ruined it all is you figure out how to get down. My whole yeah. plan was. She, she, her plan was to stick us up there. And then the heavy just, weather coming. What happened yes. to Todd and Jim? Uh, uh, they never came no. back down. Oh, no. We just tumbled those, down. It was those, no big deal. One of those Everest things where the person's still up there and they use you as a, like a, a you know, do you ever hear that about Everest mm. that there are people, they have mm -hmm. to leave them, you know, if they, if they oh, because, pass right. on the way and they use them. There's a guy with like red gloves. I don't know if you've ever seen this, red uh -oh. gloves on. They use them as landmarks to say, turn right. For real? I didn't know that. Yes. Where the guy with the That's kind of... red gloves is. <laughs> Jim, get us what? back on track here. I'm so getting, I'm get, now I don't want to go hiking anywhere. I they leave a you. dead body there to be a landmark. Right. Turn right or left at uh, Susie's body. About Mount Everest? Absolutely. Go online and read When you go that. up three quarters of mountains, make it right when you see Billy. Now, Billy will yeah. be on the ground there. He won't be alive. Yeah, Just make it right position. There. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one foot forward. <laughs> like he's, oh, that's no. Oh, but boy. I thought you guys would be the new landmarks up on your mountain, you know? It's, okay. You know? Okay. So, uh, Moving on. Um, how much sugar was in her so smoothie this morning? Are, <laughs> no sugar. Time to oh, cut her. Turn off the vibrate function on that chair. <laughs> right. Pull the plug. Uh, okay. So during the slow time, now would be a great time to do a quick cleanup of your CRM. Even the most robust CRM is ineffectual if it's brimming with bad information. While fixing the problem is time consuming, the importance of doing so can't be overstated. And really think about that. When they're all paralyzed, take the time. Organize your office a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't get paralyzed with that, but maybe 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, take a look at this. Say, is my CRM making me money? How many people do I have in it? Mm -hmm. How many am I consistently staying in touch with? And then you have to self-diagnose that. So that's a beautiful time because we know every agent knows of this. Very few use it in a profitable way. Right. We were talking about that last week, yeah. that the work it takes to, to really make that robust. Right. Yeah, there's there's time involved. It's not an overnight success, but you're going to it'll you're, pay dividends. Yeah, you're setting yourself up. Yeah. All right. A couple steps on cleaning up your CRM. Get rid of any duplicate entries. There's nothing more unprofessional and impersonal than sending duplicate information to the same recipient. That, that would go with making your phone calls, too. I remember this one time where <laughs> what happened? I called up a guy, hey, Bob, how you been? Long time no talk. And Bob said, you just called me yesterday. <laughs> so that wasn't good. He was in there twice. Oh, that was so, your duplicate. Yeah, well, was well duplicate. you should have said, Bob, according to me, one day is a long time. I just wanted yeah. to hear your voice again. <laughs> I have short-term memory, Bob. So, okay. I'm like a dog. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, pull up all the contacts with whom you have a personal relationship, be it friends, family, former co-workers, and et cetera. Have any of them had a change of address? Maybe a divorce? Why are we putting divorce in there? Right. How about, have you had children? Yeah, why are we going to negative town? Nice. Right, right. I don't know. I, it must have been a low moment. <laughs> maybe maybe Kurt didn't put Evan's underwear away then. Oh, okay. Her <laughs> husband was in trouble, so that got in there as a result of what <laughs> she's going through. It's all psychological. How's that call go? Hey, Susie, you still married? <laughs> well, you're not? Oh, no, let me make a note of okay, that. Okay, okay. Well, okay. You like steak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you doing for happy hour this evening? <laughs> Oh my! Looking for a new house. I got an extra bedroom in the back. <laughs> yeah, oh. we can scroll on my phone and look at houses uh, while we're at happy hour. I mean, it's it's is that fine? We have some cocktails by the spa back and uh, see what okay. works for you. Yeah. Okay. We just uh, invented a new prospecting strategy. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, automate emails to couples when they are no longer couples. Wow. Oh, my name is so <laughs> Wow. We did not expect this today, did we? Automate emails. <laughs> when they're no longer couples 
<laughs> not that way you can reach out and touch someone preferably the spouse yeah. that's the opposite gender and, and then, then you it can... says don't be insensitive <laughs> but you're going to reach out to them sorry you guys didn't make it hey <laughs> hey i hear you're no longer a couple wow right that's great oh my bob sorry about your luck hey sally come on over <laughs> oh okay oh. Now, well, if, if you're okay. unsure, I made emails. If you're unsure of any contact information, <laughs> reach out to them. It's a good excuse for a phone call. Right? Did you guys really split? Can I get both addresses now? <laughs> okay. Okay. Deep okay. breath. Um, here we are. We're we're back in control here. Get rid of the wild goose chases. <laughs> This isn't easy to do, we know. Take your time with this part of the process. Study each entry to determine how much time and effort you've expended and what you honestly think you'll get out of it in the end. <coughs> Hopefully, we're talking, you know, maybe a listing or a sale, well, not a blind date. But right. 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 And I like what you said. Stop the wild goose chases because probably 80% or more agents do this every day. And we talk about, right. or we attempt to say, boom, let's get you a sandbox. Let's make your life better. Right. So you're not driving 90 minutes that way for a listing. And right, then you're right. 30 minutes that way to show buyer. <laughs> What'd you do all day? You spent most time in your car. So the smart people are going to tighten things up. Yeah. Right, right. And finally, any that seem like a waste of time should either be placed in a barely breathing category. I like that take. Or deleted. <laughs> Barely breathing. Good take, good take. Or I'm super desperate today category. <laughs> I'll call anything with a heartbeat. Right. It's been a month since I've been on a date. Okay, I'll call oh. this girl who's <laughs> recently divorced, I found out, and we'll see if she wants right. to go out. Okay. Right, let's see how that goes. Uh -huh. Once you're done with your review, think about marketing campaigns for the leads in your CRM. This one, too, sounds easier than it truly is, especially if you haven't yet completed your 2023 business plan, which probably ought to be done by now since mm -hmm. we're halfway through January. <laughs> well, and in our show notes, we always have the link to the free one-page online business plan that we offer through Prospects Plus. Mm. You can do the calculation. And that's intuitive, right intuitive, yes. Yep. It reverse engineers how to get to your, your goals. I love that, that yeah. every single agent should do that or every yep. manager should do that at their office meeting because it's a great yep. free tool that, yep. do we need to get some more towels over there? I know. <laughs> We're having I'm an crying. issue. <laughs> that waterproof okay. mascara we got. Okay. I think we have to get her the extra strength. Yes, please. <laughs> we do. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's still doable to get started with an action plan for ways to market to different targeted niches within your CRM. Remember, the right message sent to the right receiver can make a huge difference in your response rate. I mean, it's everything, isn't it? That's why. Well, that's why the sharp agents are grabbing targeted mailing lists. Um, you, yeah, the right message, the right person. It, exactly. And I had Huge. a great conversation with the young lady who's going to sign up for Market Dominator. And she talked about the same thing about about when she logs in, mm -hmm. we give her opportunities. On, mm -hmm. on So no agent can sit there and say, well, there's nothing to do. No, no, there's a lot to do. Right, right on the dashboard of dashboard. Yes, yeah, it, it shows it, how it, many... What is it? Ba baby boomers in your area? How many renters? Um, renters in your area? How many people? Consumers over a million? I think it revenue something like that. Million in yeah. income. And in she lo area. she loved that. Yeah. She absolutely loved that. And it came up, and I said, "Yeah, that's there for and that that reason." Yeah. So a realtor can't sit back anymore and go, "Well, geez, no one's calling me." Or, uh, no, right. you could do a campaign there. You could go walk that neighborhood. Right, you could do a right, lot. Right. Go grab that list. Yep. Yeah. Well, this paragraph would have been good with the uh, topic of divorces. Uh, for instance, your SOI and hot leads require a different approach. Right. Put somebody in the hot leads category. Oh, yeah, the hot leads section. Mm. Uh, <laughs> put those. They require a different approach than people you don't know and or are still on the fence about buying or selling. Once you've settled on the right marketing campaigns, get them scheduled so that touches are delivered consistently throughout 2023. Prospectsplus.com has over 40 different automated postcard campaigns to choose from. And once you set them up, you can get on with your daily business knowing you are staying in front of your market month after month. And and I love what you just said, and I wrote down something here because it's it's happening. It's happening right, right now as they're listening for some people. I write down, and don't stop. Right. So once you have a campaign in place, 
Right? How many people wanted to go and pause during during the holidays? Well, the smart ones didn't. Said so they had less competition. They got more more viewership. Mm -hmm. So don't stop because those people that say no right now, a job could change instantly in a week. Uh, a situation could change. So you've got to be that one that's top of mind. It will pay off. We see it all the time. It will. And we hear when you stop a campaign. The people think you're out of business. Right. right. They've been right. getting your card for so long and all of a sudden it stops. What per are they supposed to think? Perception. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I would never expect, you know, we were our greatest fan last week that was on the show talked about uh, she gets postcards all the time from agents. Yep. But it's mm -hmm. typically three, three months and then they're they're gone. And I get stuff like that every once in a while, too, where it's two times, three times, sometimes only once. I would never expect they're still in the business. Right. If I'm not getting a postcard anymore, I right. would if just you only got assume one. that now they're a hairdresser, who knows what. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> they moved on. They're a pet walker. I don't know what they're doing now. Wait, uh, are, are pet walkers still making money? Hmm, they can, yes. Uh, $10 right a dog. You, you got 10 dogs. Yeah. Make sure they all get along. <laughs> so, so, bring a lot of bags. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, remember that your CRM will require continuous input all year, but taking the time to ensure you're starting the year organized and on the right track will pay off again and again throughout the year. And a final, final note. Final, consider final, final. Right, the really final last note. <laughs> Consider putting aside. That's the final one before the final one. <laughs> we had the final one before the final one. Now this is the really final one. Okay. <laughs> Consider putting aside 30 minutes each week to update your new contacts in the CRM and go over the current status of your CRM marketing plan to make sure you stay on track. I love that because of two things. If a realtor really does what we talked about in this show, those of you listening and watching, there are some realtors out there that treat their CRM like an ATM. Mm -hmm. That's their mindset. Like our shows, take a listing today, why we want you to have that mindset when you wake up every right. single day. Well, that's how they think. And even if the people in their CRM aren't going to buy or sell in the next, whatever, two or three months, referrals, referrals, referrals. Right. Everybody knows somebody who will buy or sell in the next one year. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful. It is. And now you'll be prepared for the beginning of this year, 2023, by going through your CRM, making sure it's accurate, and getting your postcard scheduled just and then like. And staying on top of it. And too. staying on top of it. Just like these fine people here Ooh. who are continually sending out postcards all the time. And oh, I like the calendar postcard. And there. one of them is going to get a chance to win some money. Ooh. These are all postcards brought to us by prospectsplus.com. So every one of those is going in the mail. I mean, I know those are duplicates. Not the ones in my hands. Are, right. But those are people that yes. have ordered and their postcards are going out today. Should I pick a lucky yes, one? This is today's. And Pick a card, any card, any card. And the lucky winner. Ooh, the calendar. Oh, nice. Scan me. She's got a nice QR code. One with the calendar. Nicole. Nicole is going to answer. She's an associate broker. Ooh. Four seven zero seven three seven zero three four zero. Thank you, Nicole. Oh, she's an interesting spelling. Her name, beautiful photo of her too. Hello. Hello. Is this Nicole? Yes, this is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. This is Jim and Todd and Lisa with the Take a Listing Today podcast. We're just admiring this postcard you sent out from prospectsplus.com with a beautiful calendar on it. Oh, you got it already, huh? Yes, yes. Well, actually, we're at the home office where we print them from, so we wanted to call you and ask you about your campaigns, what you're doing, if you have a minute, and give you a chance to win a gift card for just about anything on our Prospects Plus website. Sound good? Yes, that sounds good. So, so, so tell <laughs> us about this postcard. First of all, it's great looking. I love the scan me um, on the back of it. That's strong. Mm -hmm. I just did it. I just did the scan me. It takes me to her website where you're inputting your zip code to look for homes in our area. So it's it's a great QR code. Use. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Now, who did this go out to? Was it a list? Are you? Is this a piece of geography, and is it a campaign, or do you have other campaigns in place? Yes, it's a it's a list of um, most likely to and likely to list ah. uh, home. So, uh, it's definitely a thought out list that I created 
of uh, a Pacific area that I'm targeting. Okay. Well done, young lady. Well done. And and so the the people receiving these cards, do they stick them up on their wall so they have a calendar all year? Is that the the idea? Oh yeah. Yes, that's definitely, yeah, that will definitely be the idea because that's why I got the panoramic view. I like that. Right. Or a magnet enough. on the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can put yeah. it on the refrigerator. Right? Yep, 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 up on the fridge. Yeah. And the colors on that are so beautiful. Why wouldn't you want to put that up? You know, if they're at work and they work in an office, they could put it up right at their desk. I mean, there's, yeah, so many uses. And I love yeah. on, the, on the back, um, you kept this on, is your home's value up or down? So curiosity kills the cat. And I love that little paragraph yeah. you have underneath there. Well done. Thank you. Jim, she's been wonderful. I say we give her a chance and um, give her an easy question, can we? Let's let her win. We should, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, we can, <laughs> we've got a, a Take a Listing Today podcast trivia question for you. If you get it right, not only will you get some swag, including coffee mugs, T-shirts from the podcast, but we'll also send your way a $100 gift card good for almost anything on ProspectsPlus.com. Okay, that sounds good. Is this recorded? Yeah, you're going to be famous, by the way. Um, give everybody, <laughs> yeah. wh while you're on here, this is going to go out to only about 60,000 realtors. Don't be nervous. Tell them your name. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nicole, you're yeah. going to get a lot of referrals, so so you're going to have to get coffee. and uh, Tell them who you are, your phone number, and what city, in case they do have referrals for you. Okay. Um, I am Nicole Whitley, and I am with Century 21 in-town brokerage. I've been in the business for over 19 years, so wow. <laughs> a long time. Yes, nice. and I enjoy it. Wow. Very, Real estate is a it's a contact sport, you know. Um, the more people you meet, the more communications, you know, the best outcome you will have. So if you love people, it's a great business. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can hear it in your voice yeah. too that you enjoy it. It's not like stressful. You're getting up every day working in the factory. You can tell that you you enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's a it's a mindset. It's shifting your mindset, you know. Mm. Some people focus on the wrong thing, and you're going to miss your target when you're focusing on other things than being a great servicer. Wow. Very true. Well, we can tell, well, you know, with that attitude, you're going to be very successful. You have been successful since you've been in business for so many years. But the question yeah, is, I is she going it. to be successful at answering this trivia question? Well, most people are not. So uh, <laughs> we'll wish you luck with that, Nicole. Well, <laughs> well let, let me give crossed. you my contact number. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Go Thank ahead. <laughs> my contact number is 470-737-0340. And send Nicole referrals because she will get the job done and you will get paid. Right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. I love referrals, too. I actually completed a referral less than 30 days ago. So oh, There so you go. You're doing something you're right. You're already doing it. You're getting those. Well done. Do you love contests? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have okay. your, I have oh, your question have. ready for you. What I'm going to do, Nicole, is read you the question. The answer is a number. And to make it even easier for you, Tell me what you think the answer is, and if it's not correct, I'm going to tell you that the correct answer is higher or lower than the number you gave me, so just keep shouting out a number until you get it right, or until time runs out. So, Nicole, it's sort of like being on a podcast and a game show all at once. Yeah, <laughs> all wrapped up in one. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right. Are you ready for your question? Yes, I am. L Lisa and I are rooting for you. Here it is. Okay. The first portable computer was sold in 1981. How many pounds did it weigh? Oh. Sold in 1981. 1981. How many pounds? Hmm, that's a tough uh, okay. one. Wait a second. Those, at that time, those were those big. Yep. Yeah. Just guess a, guess a number and he'll say higher or lower. Okay. No, I got it. I got it. It's got to be at least 20 pounds. Higher. Higher than 20. A little higher. Uh, 20, 24. 24 is correct. Oh, are you kidding? That's a correct Nicole, answer. Nicole, that is impressive, really. You were, you were like really on the oh. money there. First guess. 
You know, I was Good thinking job. 20. That was my thought was 20. I was thinking more. Were you really? Yeah, like big old 24. Todd, what does Nicole win today? Yeah. Nicole, you are in for a treat. Yeah. Uh, you are going to get a $100 gift card for just about anything on Prospects Plus website and some amazing swag from the oh, Take a Listing Today card. podcast. No, not that one. Underneath your thing. Awesome. Thank you for being on the show, Nicole. And I will email you your code for your gift card. And... Uh, they, you know, have a wonderful year. We know you are going to have a wonderful year. Because- Keep up the great work, exactly. If you need anything, reach out. We have you covered. If you have any questions, reach out and uh, keep up the great work. Very impressive to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Nice. You know what? Last week, the caller was like uh, waiting a little bit before she had an answer. Stalling, asking questions. I think people are starting to realize, oh, I'll just look it up on the computer. Right. Have Mm. your computer going while you're on your phone. Right. Or do you think she went and grabbed her desktop, was lifting it and imagining it from the 81? Like, how much heavier would it be? Hmm. I think they are. Yeah. A little bit heavier. Now it's a pound. So. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. How does that work? All right. Well, anything else? No, that's it. That's, that's it. it. All right. Nice. Well, that was a good... Uh, hey, there's mm-hmm. the music again. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> Still got to get these buttons. We're a little rusty in the new year here with All these right. buttons and everything. <clears throat> All right. Well, there we go. That's our show designed to tell you what critical step to take to prepare for this quarter. And that was... What was that step? That's oh. to do with the CRM, CRM. right? The CRM, <laughs> yes. and we gave them some other okay, fun that's stuff. Not, that's not good. I've already <laughs> forgotten. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. that was to trick them into thinking what were the steps exactly. they had to That think. made them think. Oh, that's very clever. Uh, yes. Yes. Every now and then I can do something clever. Thank yes. you for joining us, and with any luck, we'll be back next week. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>